I feel like this has been so long awaited and I've had questions about when it's coming because this has been happening for two months now and in eight weeks we have successfully managed to make the bedroom into a home office and we've been using it as an office for a few weeks now finished so I kind of haven't really got around to filming this video and there's been a few different reasons for that one being the desk chairs hadn't turned up yet we had loads of clutter in the room at one point um pictures needed to go on the walls and to be honest the pictures on the walls actually still do need pictures in the frames but that's all stuff that was kind of preventing this video going live and I thought, do you know what, it's been two months, I'm just going to get it up. So this video is basically a vlog over a few different days and kind of shares with you the process of making this from my old bedroom into the home office. So if you didn't already know, my boyfriend and I moved into this house as friends and obviously then ended up in a relationship. So one of the bedrooms became the home office, which is the bigger of the two bedrooms. So we actually now stay in the small room downstairs, which... It's small, but it's not that small. Like we still have a built-in wardrobe. We still have a king-size bed in there and all that kind of stuff. But the bigger room we decided to make into our office, which is actually an upstairs space, which is all explained in this video. But without further ado, I'm gonna get into the video and share with you the process of turning this into a home office. There will be a room tour coming. So that is not gonna be in this video. The reason being is there's still a couple of picture frames and stuff we need to rearrange. It is gonna be roughly about a week after this one goes live. So I promise it's en route, but there's just a few little tweaks that I wanna do. And also I wanna make sure that we tidy it because like this has got really cluttered in the last couple of weeks. And I wanna make sure it looks its best. And then you can kind of see where the furniture's from. I'll leave all the links to everything. Um, yeah, it will be a fully finished, fully done, finished doodah space i mean if you watch my weekly vlogs you've probably seen the office already quite a few times but this video i haven't actually looked back at any of the footage until i'm editing now and i'm laughing because i forgot about some of the things that we had to do i forgot what it really looked like and it's very interesting to see it changing into an office so i hope you enjoy this video guys and yeah this is us turning a bedroom into a home office in a rental so everything is very rental friendly um which i don't know if i've just mentioned but yeah we rent this flat, we don't own it, so we couldn't do much to the walls or anything. The whole thing cost us under a thousand pounds to do, and yeah, enjoy. Wow, I look rough this morning. <laughs> well, I don't know. Oh, I look fresh. I mean, you are in a jumper and a hat, and you look beautiful. I look. That's questionable, Jess. I've literally put a hat on and a jumper to be in this video, so I'm not sat here. <laughs> True. And I'm, like, in my boxes. True, I'm still wearing my dressing gown and stuff. So, as you guys know from the previous clip, we obviously live in a rental and we are changing up our space. So, technically renovating, but not renovating because we can't do much. Basically, it's redecorating slash repurposing. Yeah. Kind, yeah, basically. So we're gonna completely revamp this room and turn it into something else. Sam is currently modeling the bed. Paint me like one of your French girls. I'm so tired. Um, <laughs> so it is tired. literally like, is it eight o'clock in the morning? Yeah, but I just, I yeah, think it's 8 a.m. Past like week or Yeah, so. 10 past eight in the morning. And we are about to pull apart the bed frame and the desk. So the desk is this little thing here. And then we've got the whole bed frame um, because people are picking it up because they bought them on Facebook Marketplace. So I actually found that it was a really good place to sell because people seem to buy really quick. Like we only put them up at lunchtime yesterday and we got people picking up today. Um, so yeah, we're going to quickly pull them apart. So I thought I'd give you a time lapse and then we're going to try and take everything off the back wall, etc. And then we've got to move the match downstairs, blah, blah, blah. So here's a little time lapse. <laughs>
Um, there's none. It literally is just a little um, in that bag. Yeah, there's two up here that you left as well. But um, the desk, there's no like screws that came out. It just slots together and you tighten it. Hello. It is now a couple of days later and annoyingly... A we couple took... of days later? Yes, because it's for my other vlog. I know, I thought it was your weekly vlog. I was like, Jess, it's been like half an hour. <laughs> Different video. So <laughs> it's been a few days since we took apart the bed and the desk to sell. Upstairs is now questionably messy. The you can see there's is. also mess here. There's stuff here. It looks like we're moving house and all we're doing is swapping a room around. Yeah, but essentially we are like moving house. <laughs> Everything's moving. New year, new flat. But yeah, we're basically trying to sort everything at the moment and Sam is just sorting out that cupboard because that's going to become our coats cupboard. I did actually just mention this in the weekly vlog, but we are going to do, well, I'm going to do a house tour, but I feel like you'll probably help me. We're going to do a house tour when the house is finished because until this point, it has still been a work in progress. But I thought I'd set up the camera again and do a couple more time lapses. Annoyingly, the bed frame has not sold. It is still sat in our hallway because we had a bit of a dodgy person that was trying to buy it and we just basically gave up on that. But I think I might relist it and just see if we can get it gone again. Well, it's already listed, but I basically have listed it with the mattress and I might just list them separately and see what happens. Yeah, the furniture is starting to turn up from tomorrow. So tomorrow we have the wardrobe and the desks turning up and then we still need to order desk chairs but we're going to wait a little while and we're going to okay third time lucky the camera batteries keep dying and i don't know where the charger is but as i was saying the desk chairs we're going to wait for because we haven't found any that we really like yet and i think we want to just wait and get really nice ones but obviously we've just spent a fortune on the furniture stuff sofa bed we also ordered we're getting this one from maid um we went into the maid shop basically we have been looking on the website and stuff and looking around and just happened to pop by the maid shop in covent garden is it covent garden no it's like tottenham court road isn't it yeah it's like soho tottenham court. anyway we popped into the maid shop and we tried out the certain sofa bed and we actually really liked it when we saw it but like we we basically liked the color of a different sofa had a look on the system and then really liked the color of the specific sofa bed and then ended up just seeing it in the shop and we thought it was really nice and comfortable so we're getting it and it's also small enough to fit upstairs in the corner that we wanted to go in um long story short it's turning up at the end of the month right, three to four weeks to the <clears throat> and i need to help sam because sam is currently popping coats and stuff in the cupboard so i probably need to give him a hand <laughs> i'm not focusing hello 
Mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah, so that's basically all the coats that we're keeping up here, and then there's a few going downstairs, so there's still stuff everywhere. Um, what's plan two? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Look, if I sit on the bed. Hello! Oh my god, I'm sorry to Okay, so now we've done that, should we go pick up our tree bag from the neighbour and take the Christmas tree down? So we're gonna go upstairs and sort the cupboards out. Um, See you upstairs. Appreciate that. I'm kneeling. Look at the height. Like, We've just emptied the double cupboard here, which is going to become our like office. office. It's going to become our like attic space because all along each side, so that's like two wardrobes for me. Sam's got the same on this side, and then that's going to be our big attic space because it's double. Um, but all of this just came out of it. And more. And this. And the suitcase that in here. <laughs> What's the first sign of being a hoarder? Admitting you're a hoarder. I mean, I'm um, no, in fairness, I'm not a hoarder, I just have a lot of stuff. So, most of that comes from doing the job I do because I swear to god, like, no, my mum will even vouch for this. Like, I used to barely have anything, like, I had about six pairs of shoes, I had one wardrobe that was still with space, like, I didn't have that much stuff, and now I seem to just have a yeah. lot of stuff. I'm gonna be depopping and eBaying my life away this week once the room is like sorted because this is a really good way of like clearing out our lives as well. Like it's a really good way to find out what we have and what we don't need and whatever. I'm just getting this look from across the room. Here he is. Oh my god, you just made an avalanche. Oh wow. You flick that IKEA bag around, Samuel. <laughs> so what are you doing? Is this your cupboard of like coats and stuff, or I'm what's it gonna be? Away, so we've got space to then move other yeah, stuff fair. out because then when the wardrobe's here tomorrow I can decide what I want in which cupboard. Yeah, but fair. No, I'm just putting it away so it's out Yeah, way. makes sense. Right, what do you want me to do? Shall I go through the back of that cupboard and just see what's in there? Yeah. Right, off I go, into the depths. Into the unknown! <laughs> I love the line. Literally.
since this gallery wall went up and it's coming down. Exactly. Yeah, because we moved in a year ago, didn't we? Minus like a few weeks, because we moved in February. So it's like eight it's weeks. It's like because eight, it was like ten months, yeah. February. Yeah. So it's finally coming down because the wardrobe is going here. Yeah, so it actually looks huge. When so there's the, no pictures on it, the wall looks massive. So these are all done now. Well, we say done, but the wardrobe ones, that's now full of rubbish. This is stuff which is going back in the living room once Christmas stuff is down. And then, yeah, the wardrobe will be there. And then we'll have the little desks and that in the middle. Fun, fun. And what have we just ordered? Um, five guys, because we're starving and I haven't eaten yet apart from half a cookie. And <laughs> me and, because I just wasn't hungry this morning. So me and Sam are literally, like, I can't even speak. We're wandering around the room and we're both like this. Well, we're so hungry, so we felt like we. Oh, I can't speak. You can, <laughs> except yeah, I can't so. speak. <laughs> and this is going, yay, yay! The foods are finally here. Yes, I'm starving. I am. These look so good. I don't even know who's is whose. I mean, I'm going to give you this. Or for internet shopping, stay online. Cryden. I'm sorry, Stop I don't recognise that. I'm going to move away from Cryden. Cryden. <laughs> so basically, Sam ordered the um, wardrobes and basically the wardrobes are not correct. So we needed one of the sides to be shorter. We basically need one of the sides to be shorter than it is and Sam didn't realise the measurements to change when he was doing it online. So we basically have been calling them my card also got blocked for fraud, so this is like another part of the problem. Um, we've called Ikea, who cannot cancel the order or amend the order because it's already on the van for delivery um, for tomorrow. So what we've got to do is refuse the delivery tomorrow when they turn up and reorder. So we're trying to work out how to reorder it best because if we order it online, it means that we have to um, basically... All that lighting though, I look like a bloody ghost. Yeah, if we reorder online, we'll have to wait till the 5th, where it's meant to come tomorrow. And if we order in store, it has to all be in stock and then we might be able to do same day or next day delivery. So Sam's currently calling the store because they have a lot of the order, but they don't have like some parts. Because if you order the wardrobes, you basically get like different parts of stuff. So they don't have any of the shoe shelves. Um, so Sam's going to see if we can like order all of it in store, but then part order the bits that they don't have in stock online. Basically a faff. A blooming faff and then i got my card blocked for fraud because someone keeps spending one euro at a time and i think it must be because they obviously want to like get the card frauded but they're obviously seeing if i notice the transactions i don't know but yeah we've got a whole lot of situations happening What's look where we are of course um we're in ikea we have decided to come to the marketplace first because basically you can get them to home deliver the next day or you can get a mini cab service which is the same day but it's a bit more expensive I think like the guy didn't know how much but we thought it'd probably be a lot more so what we're doing is we're picking up all the bits that we can pick up now and then we're basically going to get the rest delivered so we need to get two of the big like the two big parts of the wardrobe delivered the shoe shelves delivered um, and everything else we're going to get delivered tomorrow what number is it here apart hang on apart from we're going to take home the drawers today and like other random bits that we buy um it was number two. Oh, it's been way past <laughs> <laughs> sorry i'm vlogging let me stop vlogging and find this it ends in four nine yeah that's it we have been to ikea and we bought most of the stuff like i said that sam well i don't even know how to explain it we basically just bought everything some of it's being delivered tomorrow morning and some of it is in the car right now so we have loads of chest of drawers to build when we get home so we're gonna have to get some dinner and like set up camp upstairs with something on the tv because we've got a long light ahead of us haven't we yeah and there is stuff everywhere right Literally. now like we're not even we don't have space to build or even just we need to build I mean. Yeah, I need we can't to even the... get into bed because your clothes are everywhere. I need to put them all in the thing. So, it's going to be a fun evening. <laughs> but yeah, we're just driving home now. We're home and we are two flat pack chest of drawers nearly done. Um, so we basically got in and just started powering on. So I didn't film anything because we wanted to just get on, make the first one. And then the second one gets put together quite easy because obviously we already kind of know what we're doing. But we have another two to build after this one and I'm thinking we should be done quite quickly. So it's actually only half six now and I reckon we'll be easily done by like seven, half seven because we're doing yeah, it so it's quick. It's like 20 minutes per one. Yeah, it's not been too bad. And then after we've done this, we have nothing else to build tonight. It's just the stuff that we've got to build like 
when everything turns up in the morning. So it's going to be a nice little relax for a bit. And then obviously tomorrow is going to be go, go, go. But what we said we might do is fill these drawers as soon as we can. So like maybe get them done now so I can put all my desk stuff back in them, my makeup and stuff in them. And then it means that we've kind of freed up some of this because this will then be in the drawers. Good morning. It is the next day. We have just had the IKEA delivery at I think half eight in the morning. What time is it? Yeah, eight forty-two. And the IKEA stuff just turned up. So Sam is currently just pulling apart the first box, and we have a lot of wardrobes to build today. We also need to like hoover the whole floor and stuff, and try and make it a little bit more presentable up here, and try and put away as much as we can for now. For now. Being so there. yeah, for now being we can't really get very far until the order comes on Sunday. Um, but we're going to try and kind of do what we can and make it a bit more livable up here because it's just <laughs> we're gonna put like the desk into place today i think and just make sure it looks nice and then when we've sorted that and we know we can just move it to the side when the other wardrobes come so that we at least know like how much space we've got to work with for the rest of the room and stuff So we've got Judge Rinder on in the background and we're just building the top bit. So basically these came as like those part, those part, that part, and then the top part was the little box drawers. So we're basically just trying to put it all together now and we've basically put the bottom of one on the wrong way around, but we're going to try and make it work and just screw the opposite direction. And then we're waiting for the big parts to turn up tomorrow, like I said. So this is basically what is going to be our shoe cupboard, but we're waiting for the shoe shelves to come. Then we can sort that out. And then the middle bit will be the exact same as this, but taller. So it's basically like this height but with the box on top of that and then that's going to have a rail in but we don't have the box so we've got the rails but not the cupboard for the rails and we've got the cupboard for the shoes but not the shoe shelves so <laughs> This is the finished end wardrobe. So the two other ones will be in the middle of this. But I like them. They look cool, don't they? Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> but yeah, they look good. So these are the ones that are going to go kind of under the bits. And then, yeah. But obviously, as you can see, the wall is a bit odd anyway. So and they're going to have the shoes in. Yeah. So that's going to be the shoe. Like there's four shoe shelves to go on each side. And then the two other little shelves. And we've got two more of the top bits to build. And then two more shelves to put in there. And that's our lot for the day, apart from the tabletop. Yeah, so they basically gave us a call at like 6.45, so we set our alarm a little bit early and put my phone on loud, and they said they were coming in 45 minutes, so they should be here pretty much any minute actually, um, but we thought we'd try and have some porridge before they get here, and just get a bit of food in our bellies because we've got a lot of lifting and stuff to do, but they're not here yet. So that's good. Um, we're currently watching a Jade Billington vlog from Disney because me and Sam are going back hopefully at the end of this year and we're trying to get ourselves excited. I want to go back now. We're going back as soon as I'm we can. I'm such a mess. Like, me too. All the vlog has been is me and this hat. <laughs>
So we forgot. I forgot to start the vlog this morning, but basically the other chest of drawers, chest of the other units turned up today at about half seven this morning. So Sam and I just cracked on and got them built as quick as we could. I did forget to vlog quite a lot of it, but I did get a few clips, which is what you can see now. Um, and we're basically gonna spend the rest of the day just sorting out the cupboards, making sure that they look really nice. All our shoes and stuff are on them, and then we need to tackle a bit of this. Um, so for example, like that little chest of drawers there is going to be going downstairs when Sam pulls apart the one that his shoes are in and then there's like other little bits and pieces that just need to go to the tip or whatever um so we're going to try and tackle as much as we can today and the Alex drawers are actually going to go on Facebook marketplace but I'm going to put them up for like a tenner because some of them have got like fake tan stains in the drawers and stuff where things have spilt so I'm just going to list them really cheap and then yeah basically that's our day <laughs> I'd be blowing my own trumpet but I actually think we've created the dressing room of goals like this is just like the dream office situation having all of our shoes and stuff like now everything's put together it looks so much better and it looks so much more like cozy and warm and inviting whereas before when we had the giant gap it was a bit like looks a bit awkward um but now it looks really beautiful and cozy and warm and cuddly and i don't know it doesn't it just feel really warm up here with that because it's all like dark boots mm -hmm. it just feels really like warm i like it um but we're basically just spending some time sorting our shoes out putting them on the shelves um making sure that everything is how we want it on the rail and the shelves and stuff and then we can go and tackle like what's left in these because where we haven't got the shoe shelves yet and stuff, we had to put a lot of things like tucked into cupboards until we could. So I'm gonna go through and sort that out now. I'm trying to decide what to do with like my Gucci boxes and stuff because I think what I might do is keep them in a wardrobe because I like to have them just in case I wanna take my shoes off and put them into like a storage box because my loafers, for example, have been in their box in the like silk bags and stuff for the last couple of months because it hasn't been warm enough to wear them. Whereas like the boots have obviously always been out. Um, so I'm going to keep hold of them just in case or like if I just get a bit bored of a pair I can just tuck them in the cupboard for now or if I get shoes that are more appropriate to the season or whatever um, like to be honest quite a few of these are probably going to retire into spring when I start getting like little espadrille wedges and stuff out so yeah are you happy with it? Mm -hmm. do you love it? I think yours looks so good I really like it and obviously where me and Sam have different sized feet so mine are obviously all women's size 5 whereas Sam's are men's size 11 mm -hmm. so there's quite a big difference Just in the, the size of the shoes yeah but Sam's managed to fit two pairs on each shelf and then he's basically slotted like one of each pair down the side for two more um, and it actually looks cohesive like it doesn't look like you've done it but I really like it oh, I'm so excited Okay, it's been a while since I last updated because nothing has really happened, to be honest. It's been a couple of weeks of... In fact, how long have we had the room set up now? A week and a half. It's probably like the second full week. Second week. Wait, is that it? This is I feel the... like we've had We haven't done it after a year, didn't we? Oh my gosh. It feels like we've had this room like this for so long. Um, but the sofa bed turned up the other day, which is over in that corner. I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not because I have a big fluffy thing in the way. But the sofa bed turned up. I'll leave it linked down below. It's basically a made sofa bed. So blah, 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 blah. It's a made sofa bed and it's in a really nice like orangey velvet. Doesn't look the best in this lighting and it's really hard to capture the actual colour on camera. But that sofa bed comes in um, a green, a blue and the red and i believe it comes in a dusty pink as well which is kind of like similar color to my chair if you can see that um but yeah it looks absolutely fluorescent red and it's not that bright the cushion's not staying on it either because we don't like it we thought we might but we don't um and laura is our first house guest on it tonight so the sofa turned up sometime during this week and basically laura is our first person to sleep on it so we'll see what she thinks tomorrow and whether she thought it was comfortable but we are about to do the gallery wall which is going above the sofa bed so we've got command strips and stuff at the ready and we're basically going to use a mixture of pictures that were on my old bedroom gallery wall and we're going to put them on over there because we think that's such a nice little like nook and there's actually one little
so this is our ever so slightly finished um so this is our kind of finished product so obviously the sofa is as it is we're not going to add any cushions or anything because those are technically pillows when you put the sofa bed out and they cover what is actually the legs so under this <clears throat> oh my god i just got dust in my throat under this bit you basically unzip it and the legs fold out of there so that's basically just to cover that little bit so you can't see it when you're kind of just using it as a sofa which i like because i think it looks kind of more like cohesive and whatever so yeah we basically have popped the prints up here and it's a really awkward space to fill because we wanted the chair to be central but the wall goes such a high point here that we've put the hanging plant which potentially could change like we might change the actual hanger thing and we're gonna get like an ivy or something to hang out of there and that then will look more central once there's like some kind of hanging plant i think but I really, really like it. I think it looks really cool. And then obviously once we've got the prints that we want in there, it will look even better because these are kind of just prints that we put in for now because they're just what we already had and it just was easier to get them on the wall and then sort it out than sort it out and then put them on the wall. So yeah, that's what we're working with. And then we can basically take a picture of this, use Photoshop and try and play around with what prints we want where. So that is the end of the bedroom to home office vlog and as I said in the beginning we live in a rental property we don't own this flat sadly we live in London we can't really afford to buy right now but everything in this is rental friendly so the pictures are on the walls were command strips we haven't fixed anything to a wall we haven't necessarily done anything that we couldn't do without our landlord's permission so there's been no like new flooring or anything like that it's all been kind of easy to do really really affordable I think this whole unit behind me cost like 300 pounds if that the sofa bed was about £300, like everything was very affordable and I can't remember the exact total but I think it was around about £1,000 give or take. So it was very very cheap and affordable for saying how much we changed it and how much we did. Obviously we sold the old bed frames and like random bits of furniture and stuff to create the office so that kind of contributed as well but I am so happy with the outcome and I cannot wait to share with you the official kind of room tour of it. There will also be a copper grey house tour at some point. I feel like we've lived here for a year and we still haven't done one. Reason being, it wasn't finished. We wanted to make sure this room was done before we did a house tour because for a long time, we kind of had two bedrooms. It was really confusing and people were getting confused and asking loads of questions. So that will be coming in due time as well. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video guys and I'll see you in my next one. If you want more home reno stuff, let me know because obviously renovating a rental or like not renovating, that's the wrong word. We're not renovating, but we're like, doing up a rental and making the space look better so if you want more tips and tricks kind of series on the rental front let me know because i'd be more than happy to kind of share how we made the bathroom look nicer the downstairs bedroom like all that kind of stuff because even though the house is pretty much how we want it i feel like there's still little bits that we can tweak and i can talk about like how to make a gallery wall and yada yada so yeah um let me know your thoughts on that and yeah i'll see you in my next video bye guys